Hey everyone, welcome back on my YouTube channel. I told you I'd make a new February waffle maker video here. Um, February single flip waffle maker stuff. I'll show you how to use that. It's just a box that come in. Everybody, they start about local Walmart between 18 and 20 bucks. Um, I gotta get the booklet out here. Here's the booklet right here. It has, you know, like cooking tips in it and different recipes, different things. But actually this works really good and I do recommend it. All you do, and now this does have a flip handle where you can keep it out of the way so you don't hit like yourself in the belly or nothing, but you can still use it like that. Um, what you do is plug it into a regular 110 outlet where it says power. When you plug it in, I have that light on. Then it'll show this light here where it says ready. That'll be off while it's preheating. When it's all the way getting done hot, that'll be ready to go. It'll light up. You'll lift your waffle maker up. There it is. You won't need no Teflon spray or nothing in it. You fill your all your grids with waffle batter. You can use pancake batter. And or this recipe out of this recipe book we tried, you know. It's pretty good. Um, for parents at home with children or young teenagers, I would not let your child use this without adult supervision. They can get burnt. And that would start a bad day if you guys go to school with a burn going to a hospital. It did come on this pedestal right here, as you see, right there. It come with this little drip tray. It just slides up underneath like this so it catches any excess and all i would use to clean it out with wait until it completely cools get yourself a washcloth like this one just wipe it off real good maybe use a paper towel to dry it off that's it but once you put your batter in okay you close it now you have to watch how much batter you put in because I ain't used these since jury and motel since me and my wife stayed there. Yes, they do use these in the morning for breakfast. Um, I had to kind of hold the lid down to get it started real good to firmly press my waffle. And I would just turn it over like that. And you'd leave it just like that until you see his green light here come on. When that comes on, your waffle's done. You flip it over. Takes a few hair because the dish strainer is in the way. Sorry about that. But that's all you do. Just rotate it over until that light comes on. When that light comes on, your waffle's done. You flip it back. And you lift it up. And what you want to do, sorry about the noise, I had to get something out of this zinc here. Just use one of these to yank it out, which is kind of go up under the edges a little bit. Maybe grab it if you can with your finger and throw it out on your plate. But I can't stress enough, you use plastic on all surfaces non-stick. Because my first wife I was married to before I got my new one would always use metal shit on Teflon. And it would scratch it all to hell. And the boy know it, it would stick. But that's all you do. Just put your batter in here. Fill each well up. And right here how it's creased here in the middle of that X. Now if somebody can't eat a whole waffle like your child. When it gets done, you just split that in half and separate it between everybody. You can do it that way, too. But we had chocolate chip ones. But you just fill your well. Flip it over. Till that light comes on. When that light comes on, you flip it back and you release. But don't forget, when this power light comes on, do not pour your battery until this green light here comes on. It says ready. That's all you got to do. You don't need no cooking spray or nothing out less over the years it got stick it wouldn't it would start sticking maybe you have to use a little bit of pam or something but that's good smooth action right there but right there's recipe book and everything that's all it come with right there but february makes good products um everybody likes waffles who don't grab you one i would recommend one now rick from the ghost police paranormal he ain't fond of waffles i guess but it sure beats eating them out of the damn store out of a box because they get too damn hard to toast her a lot of times 
And I love my bell drums. I mean, them son of a bitch was probably at least that thick. Yay, thick. And it would be this whole griddle. I'll tell you how big they are. I can't even eat a whole one. I got down to the last few bites, and I did just pitch it. Same with my wife. She had a couple pieces left of her. She could only eat half of a one. They are a good size. But, yep, there it is, and there's your lockable handle. It only goes one way. You can't lock it the other way. But, see, I'll prove to you that you can still use it with the handle up. See, like this. You can still do it like that. You want the handle flexed down, or you can do it upward. But anyhow, if you like the Fabware Waffle Maker, Slip Phillip Waffle Maker, I mean, if you got a bigger family, you might want to buy more of these besides one, or you're going to have them pay with people. Just for me and my wife, want to be good enough. But I hope you like, subscribe, comment. You know, I did the coffee maker video. I did the the pressure cooker 701 crock pot deal there earlier. I got one more video to do this week, and that's on my bolt meter. It's supposed to be here this week, an analog meter with the needle on it. And after that, not unless I rant or rave or find something else to make a video about. I will be off there probably until December, until Christmas time. Now I got a bunch of videos coming out around then. So stay tuned and talk to y'all later. And like, subscribe, comment, and see you in the next one. And by the way, there's Carmel Frappe. He's sleeping. But um, see you in the next one. And. Take care. Love y'all. Peace out. Rick, I hope you watch this video, but I know you don't like waffle makers, but at least you know what the kind to recommend to people. Fabware. You know, they're pretty good. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye, and have a nice night. Good night. Bye.